So what a week. We have heard from some amazing and incredible young people. Yeah. So what's everyone's takeaways, thoughts, reflections on what we have heard across this week? I think a, some, a lot of mine was, um, I heard, I mean, me and Lizzie, we both went in the same interviews, but we heard a lot of like healthy body and mind and kind of spirit, like be in tune with yourself and to be able to kind of help with your mental health and your physical health and um, you've got to fix kind of both to be able to be happy and love yourself. Um, but I also think knowledge, um, awareness when it comes to social issues, um, especially the disability community, um, as well as the, the LGBTQI plus community, um, being aware and uh, knowing that there is such thing as, uh, other than straight. Um, and gay and lesbian. There is just, there's so many different kind of sexualities out there. Um, and I don't think they get talked about as much. So just like kind of an awareness and knowledge about that. I heard that a lot. I think for me, one of the main takeaways was when we were talking to these young people, there was this categorization of the change they wanted to see. Some were more about systematic change and others were about, you know, human connection, community work. And a lot of times those things are categorized completely separately as if they don't intertwine. And one of the most important things that came out of these conversations is we saw the overlaps. We saw the, we saw the fact that we can't have systematic change if the community isn't strong, if we don't have human connection, if we're not kind to each other and we're not you know, understanding and compassionate towards each other. And on the flip side, we can't be a community, we can't be a strong community if we don't have the systematic facilities and resources to facilitate for that. And I think the young people really beautifully illustrated that we, we need both, of, you know, both sides of the conversation interacting and not in such stark difference. Do you think there was a common theme people were talking, were speaking to? Um, I think the most common theme I got was equality. Um, equality and kind of like just kindness, caring about others and accepting others. I think that they're the main kind of themes that I got. I think I got the same. Yeah. For me, acceptance of difference was really something that I got from the young people. Just being kind to people who you might not agree with at the end of the day. Some really important things that I came across was, yeah, the love and the kindness and the acceptance of it all and the compassion. I heard a lot of young people use the word compassion and just that idea that you don't know everyone's stories and just, but just giving someone a smile and making someone just laugh for that day and smile for that day could be a massive big change for someone. And I think that that was just so amazing to hear that some, so people with such, such a young age and having that amount of just knowledge that people's lives can just need a little happiness, a little smile. It was just amazing and absolutely inspiring to hear. Yeah. Uh, we want to thank everyone for listening to our voices and these conversations over the past week for Youth Week in the City of Sydney for 2021. Um, we hope you guys have learned something um, or feel inspired to spark change or connect to any other young people in your community. If you would like to get involved in other Weave, Weave projects like this, please go onto the, web, the Weave website, weave.org.au uh, for more info on how to get, into, get in touch. Follow us on Instagram at weave underscore youth or listen to our ongoing podcast, What You Don't Hear, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. Thank you to all the amazing young people who were involved in this project. Thank you to Weave and the City of Sydney for making this happen. And thank you to Pix on Location Photograph Studio for this beautiful space and Amanaki Studios for making these amazing videos. Thanks everyone. Together more than ever. Given what everyone went through last year, what could be a more relevant theme than this? for this year's Youth Week. WEAVE Youth and Community Services Youth Advocates have taken this theme to a new dimension, 
by exploring with young people their views on what is utopia. The topic is interesting, indeed challenging, because strictly, utopia doesn't exist. Or does it? I decided to do a little digging on the real meaning of the word. As it turns out, the word utopia comes from the Greek utopus, which means a good place. This past year has shown young people in New South Wales using their creativity to turn challenge into opportunity. The WEAVE Youth and Community Services Youth Week podcast series is an exceptional example of the enterprising spirit and strength of our young people in our city, who used the isolation of last year to learn skills in interviewing and podcasting to keep other young people connected. One of the big takeouts of the series is the value of having a platform to share ideas and experiences. As young people, you have articulated the importance of acceptance of difference, of interaction with each other, of compassion and respect. You've also made known the challenges that you face of achieving health of mind, body and spirit. You've raised the issues that face the LGBTQI community. You've seen the need for deepening connections with young people from refugee and migrant backgrounds and with people living with a disability. You've pointed out where change is needed and, as one youth advocate said so succinctly, systemic change more likely follows individual change and that change starts with connection. The Weave Youth Week pod podcast series highlights that with young people like you, the community is a good place to be because it's in good hands. Indeed, if there is one thing of which I have been reassured in the last two years as Governor of New South Wales, is that our young people are smart, constructive and insightful. As patron of WEAVE Youth and Community Services, I particularly thank the youth advocates and each of the participants in this project who have so openly shared their ideas, their thoughts and their insights, their utopia, their good place to be. Through your efforts and your energies, our community will be together more than ever. For creating this vision and giving space for the voices of young people to be heard, I thank WEAVE Youth and Community Services, the City of Sydney and valued project partners.